Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to my beautiful ride chair revolutionaries. It's me, Geo. Y'all know who the fuck it is. It's a Monday morning, it's it's the first full business week, uh, or first actual business week of 2020. Back into the swing of things. Uh, I will go ahead and say, it, it's going to be a little slower than usual in Chicago, but not as slow as it has been. Um, and that's a good thing because it's been miserably slow lately. But I'm um, here to. I noticed there was a very large uptick in airport rides yesterday afternoon, but I didn't drive at all because I made next to nothing on Saturday, and I'm like, I was in total fucking mode. I'm like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna grind for eleven or twelve dollars an hour. I'm just not gonna do it. Um, but. Like I said, business did seem to pick up in the later afternoon. I don't usually like to drive at those times on Sundays, so I was hanging out with my girlfriend. When this showed up on my group chat, a driver got a ping. I didn't ask from where, but I think that was O'Hare. To Miami. Miami, Florida. Right? <laughs> I, I mean, that's unbelievable, right? And then uh, he told us that he actually did cancel the ride. And I'm going to go and say that was a very, very, very good call. And we're going to go into the numbers right now. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to explore why this was a bad ride and the only way this could have been a decent ride, right? So someone went ahead and punched it into, into, uh, into ways. To Miami, Florida, from where he was, would have been roughly 19 hours and nearly 1,400 miles. So what I did, and that says $26 in tolls, okay? So what I did was I punched in the rates, and I rounded up on some of them, and that's what the driver would have made on that ride. Um, at $0.64 cents a mile for 1,400 miles and point and 22 cents a minute for 2036 minutes which is what was estimated on the on the Waze app $1352 for a one way trip for 1400 miles so you're already less than a dollar per mile on that ride um but now we're going to do the math and talk about why this was not a good ride. While some of you would jump to do this, because you're like, yeah, I'm going to make $1,300 in a day. Would you, though? Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, so let's go to my calculator app. Okay, so $1,352. So we're going to go ahead and take off $52 because it said $26 in tolls to go there. So obviously you're going to pay the same tolls coming back. So minus $52. So we're at $1,300. Now, I don't know what kind of car this driver has, but let's just assume his gas tank is, you know, highway miles 400. You know, let's say he drives a Camry. I think he might drive a Camry or an Accord. So 400 miles per tank. And I know fuel is much cheaper once you leave Illinois, so let's go ahead and say three and a half tanks, roughly, to get there. So that will be seven tanks total times $45 per tank of fuel. So seven times $45, 315. So we're going to take that off the 1300, 1300 minus 315. You're looking at $985. That's what you're getting after fuel and tolls. Now we have to think about a motel. What if this driver wanted to go get some sleep somewhere, right? And even a Motel 6, probably looking at 60 bucks. So minus $60. <laughs> so you made that much in 24 hours. Not bad, right? But you're going to have to get some food. You're probably going to be hungry. You're probably going to have to eat some food on the way there. You get some food, come back. So let's just say you're, you know, you got hungry, you got some snacks. You're going to need some energy drinks, some caffeine, some coffee. Um, let's go ahead and take off $35 for, for food and snacks and caffeine. And boom, $890. So 
So you're at $890 for... And like I said, there there might be other expenses involved. That's You're, you're doing 2,800 miles round trip for this. Um, so $890 divided by 2,800. 31 cents per mile. <laughs> it's not a good ride. And... 890 that's your net roughly divided by what was that 38 got him horrible math 38 hours i mean that's not bad 23 bucks an hour i mean it's not horrible but really really in my in my opinion that was a good ride to turn down now what would make this a ride that would be beneficial for the driver because these kind of rides don't happen that often you know you don't, and you don't really know how to approach these situations you'd have to explain to the passenger like look I'm not getting paid to come back I will not be getting paid to come back I'm not a trucker there's no way I'm gonna find someone in what's the uh, Alabama is the one before I go in Florida I'm not gonna get a ride from Alabama going back to Illinois it's not gonna happen and I can't drive in any of the states other than, like, Indiana <laughs> and parts of Wisconsin. He's like, if you promise to pay for the fuel for me to go there and come back, then I'll take the ride or something. If if you pro if the passenger agrees to cover the, the cost of, like, fuel, cover the cost of a hotel after you drop them off, obviously, um, then, yeah, I can go and say this would have been a good ride if you make a deal with your passenger. Because I don't see many drivers taking this ride. If you have a family at home, you can't take it. If you have another obligation, if you have a job, you can't take it. Um, if you got <laughs> any anything going on, any kind of responsibilities, anything like, oh yeah, I've got this going on on Tuesday morning, I can't do it. It's it's really it's really a bad ride. So. I think this driver made the correct choice by not taking the ride, but I'm I'm putting the video out there to see under what circumstances would you guys take this ride? Under what circumstances would you take a 1,400 mile, 19 hour ride? Right? What would what would make the passenger sweeten the deal? And by the way, I I did talk I did message him in the group chat, and I said, "Was that ride real?" He said, "Yeah, it was." He called her to confirm. Uh, he talked to her, and he and she said that, yeah, she's going to Miami. And he's like, I, I can't do it. And it was a girl with a Hispanic accent. And he said, I, I can't do it. And I'm wondering what this ride would have cost, too. What do you think? Like, that must have been a really desperate situation for someone to hop into an Uber from, from Chicago to Miami, Florida. Right? I have so many questions. Um, but like I said, would you guys take this ride? And under what circumstances would you take it? Because on its own, bad ride. But, yeah. All right, guys. That's all I got for this one. I want to thank you all for watching. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.